I'm gonna show you how to properly wire your RV batteries. Okay, we're at the RV. We have gloves, safety glasses, because we are working with batteries. Now, what's go to the one RV battery setup? So, this is our one RV battery. On these batteries, you have two posts. You have a positive and a negative. Positive has a little plus symbol by it. Sometimes you'll see red. Red is usually associated with positive. In RVs, that's not always the case. You need to make sure you are hooking positive to positive, negative to negative inside your RV. So a negative will have a little straight line symbol. That's for negative on the battery. And like I mentioned, take a picture before you take batteries out, mark wires, whatever you have to do to make sure you put them back in the proper spot. Mixing up wires can cause lots of issues inside of your RV. So single battery setup, we'll have one wire on positive, one wire on negative, both going to the RV. Pretty simple setup. Now, let's go to a two wire setup, or two battery setup. So inside of our RV, we'll have some battery cables. So we're going to parallel the batteries together. So we'll do positive to positive, so plus to plus. We'll use red in this case, and we use negative to negative. Now our batteries are parallel together. We have 12 volts in, still 12 volts out in the whole system. Then we'll take our RV wires, we'll take our positive from the RV, go to this battery, our negative from the RV, go to this battery. That way it evenly takes power out of these batteries. Now, let's go to our four battery setup. So we will keep all of this in 12 volts. So basically, let me do it this way to be easier for you to see. So as you can see, our positive is over here on your left. So we would just connect this battery to this one, this one to this one, and our negative the same way. Keep going negative to negative to negative. So we have all of our batteries in a row. Then we would take our RV wiring and connect our positive to our first battery or negative to our last battery. That way it evenly takes power out of the whole system. So this is a great way to visualize it. Draw it out on paper how your RV is set up because when you put them into a square configuration, it messes with your head a little bit. You gotta make sure you have the right wires connected to the first one and to the last one. Now let me put it into a square configuration so you can see how that would be set up inside of the RV. So basically, you can picture this setup here would be just like this one. So we would connect our positive to positive, our negative to negative. Then we would have another set of wires, maybe a little bit longer, so we can come positive to positive, hook to these ones. And from negative around to negative, hook to those ones. So then this is your first battery, second battery, third battery, fourth battery in line. So we'll take our positive from the RV and go to our first battery, our negative from the RV to our last battery. So that way the whole system is used evenly. Now it doesn't matter if you were to put the negative on the first battery, positive on the last battery, as long as you're using the first battery and last battery for either one. All right, now there are some different ways you can hook batteries up. This is your typical RV wiring setup. If you're getting into lithium batteries and solar systems and bigger systems, you might be going to bus bars and some of those items. There are some different ways to connect them. All of these setups are your standard RV battery wiring setups. If you're going to the more elaborate stuff, yes, I understand there's ways to hook those up differently, but this is how you normally see them inside of RVs. Okay, we're back at the house in Michigan. It's a little bit of a time warp, and we wanted to film these videos Finish them all up when we were in Texas, but got a little busy and crazy. And also the road noise is crazy there as well. So sorry about that during the hands-on portion of the video. But I want to make sure everyone understands how to wire the batteries up. So I have some diagrams. I'm going to draw some things out. So come on over and I'll walk you through it. All right, starting off, we're on a single 12-volt battery. So we have our battery with a positive post, negative post. And this is our RV. This is pretty simple. We'll take our red wire from our positive and go to our RV. 
we're going to take our black wire to our negative post and go to the RV. So that is your single setup 12 volt battery. Now let's go to a two battery setup. So with this, we're going to connect our batteries in parallel. So we have 12 volt battery and 12 volt battery. We need 12 volts for the RV. So let's do our positive first. So positive to positive. And that positive will go to the RV, just like that. And then our negatives will connect negative to negative. Now the batteries are in parallel. But instead of going from this terminal, we want to balance the batteries. So we'll go from this battery to the RV. So now it's getting 12 volts from the batteries and the two battery bank is balanced. Now let's go to four battery setup. This will work just like the two battery setup did. So we'll start with our positives first. So let's connect our batteries in parallel. So positive to positive, positive to positive, positive to positive. Same with our negative. Negative to negative, negative to negative, negative to negative. So we have 12 volts just flowing straight all the way through. Now we'll connect our positive to the RV. So we can take positive to the RV. And our negative will come from our last battery down here to the RV. So 12 volts to the RV and evenly taking power from all four batteries. Now on the common four battery setup that you'll see in RVs, Typically a motorhome setup. So we have a four batteries. Let's connect them in parallel. We'll do positive to positive, positive to positive, and positive to positive. We'll do the same with our negative. So negative to negative, negative to negative, and negative to negative. Now let's connect our RV. We'll take our first battery under positive. We'll go to the RV. We'll take our last battery, take our negative, go to the RV. So just like the one before, we have 12 volts to the RV on a four battery setup. And as a reminder, it doesn't matter if you use the positive on a first battery or the negative, as long as you're using the first battery and the last battery. So let me just number it out here. So it might be one, two, three, and four. So let's say we got rid of these wires and we could do the exact same connection basically, but if we took the negative from the first battery, went to the RV or a positive from the last battery to the RV, that's the same as I drew it out the first time. It's just using the different batteries, different ways. It's still 12 volts to the RV. Now to answer a frequently asked question, which wire do I hook up first, the negative or the positive? Well, when you're hooking up batteries, you connect the positive wire first. So that'll go to the RV and then you hook up the negative wire. That way you protect against shorts when you're connecting batteries. Now, if you're unhooking the batteries, you will take off the negative first and then the positive after that. Now, let me show you the four battery setup with the same question. With these ones, you'll take your batteries and connect them all in parallel. We're doing a positive first. Then we'll take our negative, connect your batteries all in parallel. Once the batteries are connected, then we'll connect the batteries to the RV. Same as a single battery, we'll connect the positive first to the RV and then the negative. If we were disconnecting it, we would do everything in a reverse order. Hey, if you appreciate tips like this, you can go to my website on the RV education page, you get more helpful tips or resources. And while you're there, you can sign up for weekly newsletters and get videos like this straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped learn how to connect your batteries.